Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm gonna do a comparison between these two waffle makers. On the left, I've got the Ninja Belgian waffle maker. On the right, I got the Cuisinart waffle maker. Both of these are vertical waffle makers. We're gonna make our mix. We're gonna pour it in the top. When the waffle is done, we're gonna lower it down and we can get our waffle out. So the controls for the Ninja are down here. I can plug it in, but I can also turn it off with this switch. With the Cuisinart, it powers up as soon as I plug it in. So when I want to unpower it, I need to unplug it. But I've got these settings up here, one through five, five being the darkest, like a real crispy waffle. We're gonna be cooking them on three today. Here I've got specialty, one through five also. Specialty is for like mixes that have a lot of sugar in them, like cake mixes. So the Ninja is a thousand watts, the Cuisinart is 800 watts. Now both of them, you gotta turn them on, like plug the Cuisinart in, turn this one on, I'm gonna put it on three. They both have a red light, that's called preheating. And then they're gonna beep at you when they're ready for you to put the mix in. Now, I'm not gonna time this because they're just, one's a little bit hotter than the other one already. But the Cuisinart takes four minutes to preheat, the Ninja takes two minutes to preheat. So after two minutes, this green light will come on, it'll beep at me, now I can pour my batter in the Cuisinart four minutes again the red lights on right now it'll change over to green now once we pour the batter in both those lights will go back to red and then when the waffle's done it'll turn back to green beep at us to let us know to take out the waffle they both come with these measuring cups in order to put the batter in they're one cup and that's what you're going to put in there I like that the Ninja has a three quarters to one cup markings on there so if you lose this you kind of know how much to put in and here's what the openings look like. Nice and big for the batter. Okay, the Ninja's ready to go. Two minutes, the green light came on and it beeped at me. Okay, so four minutes, the Cuisinart's ready. It's got four beeps. The Ninja's kind of like a bing bing. Okay, so let's start the timer. Let's pour the batter in the Ninja. Nice big opening. Okay, now let's pour the batter in the Cuisinart. Again, nice big opening. Now both the Ninja light turned red and the Cuisinart light has turned red also. And here we can see there's the Ninja, there's the Cuisinart. Okay, so it's been about a minute and a half. There's the Cuisinart, there's the Ninja. Now you'll learn how much mixture to add. I added just a little too much to the Ninja sometimes. And that's why it kind of bubbles up there. And then it seems like the, with the Cuisinart, I don't ever add just an, I don't add enough. So neither one of them leak batter. When you pour it in, it does, neither one of them leak batter. Now there was one thing. So when you go to get the waffle out, I did notice that sometimes there is some steam coming out right where you're supposed to grab that. Okay, so the Cuisinart's done. So it beat the Ninja right now. The Ninja is going to be right behind it. So three minutes for the Cuisinart. Again, we're going to lower it down. You're going to get the waffle out. Now, even with the Ninja, there is just a little bit of steam that escapes around there, but it seems like your fingers are farther away from it. Okay, so right behind the Cuisinart, about 10 seconds behind the Cuisinart, the Ninja's done. Now let's get it out. Again, very simple to get them out, put it back up. Okay, so both of these are really good waffles. I've been having them out of both machines. They both taste really good. So it looks like the three on this one was just maybe a little bit crispier. I might go to like a two for my next waffle. Um, the three seem to be just about right for this one. They both cook them very evenly on both sides. Yeah, so one thing I am noticing, so I took the Ninja waffle out, put the lid back up. Now it's green and white, it's ready to go. The Cuisinart, I took the waffle out, put it back up. It does have to preheat a little bit longer. So the Ninja will be better if you want to like cook one, one right after the other, where the Cuisinart does take a little bit. And again, to turn power off of the Cuisinart, I have to unplug it. The Ninja, I can simply just move the switch. So cleanup on both units is very simple. You gotta let them cool down, but nothing really sticks to them. You just gotta get kind of like a brush and wipe the crumbs off. I do like how the Ninja goes completely flat. You know, the Cuisinart doesn't seem to wanna go completely flat. 
his hinge catches just, just a little bit, but that's not that big a deal. And for me, the Ninja just seemed a little bit more stable, a little bit easier to use. But both of these are really nice waffle makers. So I hope this comparison video helps. Thanks everybody for watching.